Wolfman Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. This is Friday Night Frenzy. And this is the last Friday Night Frenzy before our third pay-per-view event, World War Smash. And we're starting off with singles competition here tonight. And making his way to the ring is the giant himself, William Ross. Hmm? Sorry for the uh, interruption. Uh, William Ross is six and one right now with wins and loss. He's doing a uh, very good job, and it's going to be amazing to see how he keeps doing, especially here tonight against his opponent, Eddie Bain. But if you're enjoying the wrestling show on entertainment, please leave a like, comment down below. Who's your favorite wrestlers? I want y'all to stay active. I would like to hear from y'all. And subscribe to be a part of the G-Dub Nation and to stay uh, and to be notified about future videos. And here comes William Ross's opponent, the steampunk Eddie Bain. Uh, Eddie Bain uh, did compete in a Royal Rumble match and ended up winning that 10-man Royal Rumble match and got a shot at the Showdown Championship title but failed to win the title. So he's hoping that pulling off another win will be able to push him back up there where he can get another title shot. Uh, let you know Eddie Bain is 2-3 and three right now, and he's looking for a third win here tonight and hoping to stop William Ross on his havoc of running through a frenzy right now. But we'll have to see what happens here tonight in this match between William Ross and Eddie Bain. Without further ado, let's get started. So here we got William Ross versus Eddie Bain in three, two, one. So Eddie Bain's gonna start off strong with a nice back suplex, able to pick up William Ross here tonight, showing off his strength. But William Ross is back up and throws a huge slap right onto the chest of Eddie Bain. And Ross taking control now. Bain able to get out of the hold Ross had him in. And there's another back suplex by Bain right onto Ross. And Ross is back up once again. And there's a knee to the chest. My goodness. And I'll go ahead and apologize right now. I am trying to stay a little quiet just because I am a uh, in Dayton, Ohio with uh, my family and I'm having to share the living room with my sisters. But uh, Bane doing an amazing job slamming Ross's head down at the turnbuckle. Here we go, showing off his strength once again, able to pick up William Ross and throw him down. And actually picking up Ross from the ground Looking to flip him over and slam him back down. Very nice move by Bane here tonight. Bane showing a lot of promise of becoming a future showdown champion. And Raws, to let you know, is uh, the number one contender for the technical championship title. So if Raws pulls off this victory against Bane, then this will be very, very impressive to see Raws have to go against Braxton real soon. Bane doing an amazing job right now taking care of Ross, but Ross able to grab that kick and leg sweep uh, Bane and knock him down. And a nice back slam right on to Bane. But Bane able to counter and get back up, but Ross is still going to take some control here. That's gotta hurt. Ross is doing everything he can to destroy Bane here. Here we go. Ross is picking up Bane now. Looking to take him over to the ropes and throw him onto the top rope. And going for the pin now. One, 
two, not good enough. I saw the ref was slapping Ross's feet, which I thought was kind of funny, but I didn't want to say anything just yet. But yeah, and now throwing multiple punches to Bane, right to the head. Here we go, he's got Bane up, looking to take him back over the ropes to throw him onto the top rope once again. Looking for the pin. Oh, changes his mind. He's going to step onto Bane. My goodness. That's, that's over 400 pounds just stepping onto Bane. My goodness. Get out of the hold. Will Bane be able to do something or will Raw still take control? But Raw, Raw looks like he's going to still take control and throw Bane right into the corner. And Snake Eyes right onto Bane. There's a spear. And we've seen this before. Raw is looking to end it with the weapon of mass destruction. That might do it, and here's the pin on Bane. One, two, three. And here's your winner, William Ross, able to pull off the win here tonight. William Ross gains his seventh win. While Eddie Bane gains his fourth loss. Well, that was a very good match, very good match. By both competitors, even though Ross was destroying Bane the entire time. I don't think Bane really had much of a chance in this match. And there's that weapon of mass destruction once again right onto Bane. But that will end match one. Let's get, go ahead and get moving on to match two. And here we are with match two. Uh, just to let you know, we did have a uh, self-proclaimed a uh, little talk from our technical champion Neil Braxton and Cedric Hawkins his old buddy and former technical champion came out and talked to him saying he's become a little more arrogant lately and he's gonna put him in his place so I'm sensing a huge rivalry starting to pick up between the two friends but enough about that let's move on here is our second match it is a tag team match we have the former tag team champions the Dukes of Wrestling Country Life, Kip Elmore, and the Outlaw, the Cowboy, Ryan Adams. And to let you know on how the Dukes of Wrestling are doing, uh, they are 8-4 and four with wins and losses. All their losses have been to the tag team group, the tag team champions, the Fabulous Bods. And they're looking to get revenge here and hopefully pull off a win against the Fabulous Bods here tonight in this match. But as you can see, Adams is ready to go. Elmore is ready to go himself. And these guys are very comical what they did, uh, especially when they were in a rivalry with the upper class, the, actually them dressing up like them. Uh, if you haven't seen that, please go back and watch. It will be on the Friday Night Frenzy playlist if you're interested. Here we go with our next opponents. And they are your tag team champions, the Fabulous Bods, which is the team of the Fabulous Gregory Anderson and Pretty Boy Max Barker. And these guys have been on a huge roll ever since winning their tag team titles. Uh, nobody's been able to defeat them since grabbing the titles. But to let you know on how they're doing, they are 7-2 and two right now with wins and loss. Like I said, only one team has been able to beat them. That has been VIW. But with the way it's going right now, I don't think VIW is going to be competing for a couple weeks due to the fact Victor Collins is out due to uh, injuries. So we'll have to see what happens for Fabulous Bods in the future and what they have planned. But here we go, the Dukes of Wrestling versus the Fabulous Bods in 3, 2, 1. 
So Elmore and Barker are going to start it off. Staring each other down the corner. Here comes Elmore going after him and taking some control. Throwing Barker out of the ring. Stand there watching. Here he goes. He's going after Barker now. And trying to get him back in the ring, but Anderson's blocking it. And Barker's able to stop Elmore real quick. And throwing Elmore right into the ring post. And now Barker looking for a pickup powerbomb right onto Elmore. My goodness, that's got to hurt. And the ref is still counting down. Already at the count of seven. And throwing Barker right into the ring post now. They're about to get a count out. They don't hurry. Oh, and there's the count out. Fabulous Boz is able to pick up that quick win via count out on their opponents here tonight. So the Fabulous Bods get their eighth win from that. And the Dukes of Wrestling get their fifth loss from that. My goodness. Very unfair advantage by the teams here tonight. But that ends this match with Fabulous Bot with the tag team group, Fabulous Bods winning. Let's move on to our next match. And here we are with our third match. This will be singles match. And making his way to the ring from the Amazon, the Panther. And the Panther hasn't really competed a lot on Friday Night Frenzy. He has competed a good, uh, on Wednesday Night Clash as of uh, Wednesday and did a pretty good job. Wasn't able to pull off the win. But he's ready to prove himself and ready to prove why he deserves to be back on top once again. So we'll see how he does here tonight in this match. And to let you know, the Panther is 6-5 and five right now on wins and loss. Just doing an amazing job overall with everything he's been uh, doing and performing. And proving why he, he is one of the best heels there, there is here on the Wrestling Showdown Entertainment roster. And also, if you haven't seen Wednesday Night Clash and you're interested, uh, please go to my channel and you can look in the playlist and sit there. You can watch the Wednesday Night Clash playlist. But uh, if you don't want to watch the Wednesday Night Cl uh, Clash playlist, just go right into uh, uh, the new videos, just the videos, and look for the newest video of Wednesday Night Clash. You'll find it. Here we are, Panther, making his way to the ring. He's ready to compete. You can see the desire to win in his eyes here tonight to prove what he is worth and to prove that he deserves to be back on top once again. The last time we really saw Panther was two weeks after the first pay-per-view event, a roadblock, when uh, Panther challenged Eddie Bain to a match and end up beating Eddie Bain. So this should be very interesting to see if Panther will be able to pull off the win and make it up to uh, get another chance at the Showdown Championship title. I'm very, I'm very curious to see how he does here tonight in his match. And his opponent for this evening making his way to the ring the rich Robin Hood himself, Javier Rodriguez. Now, Javier Rodriguez is has been uh, mainly in a rivalry with Otis Love, but that rivalry has been done with uh, for a couple weeks now, and he's ready to prove himself going against other competitors here tonight. Now, Javier Rodriguez is four and five right now with wins and loss, so he's doing a decent job as well, and he's looking to pick up a win and move up the ranks to get a shot at the Showdown Championship title just like the Panther is doing and hoping that with no distractions of Otis Love he'll be able to do that here tonight but here we go with our match the Panther versus Javier Rodriguez in 3, 2, 1 
Both men start meeting off in the ring, but Panther's going to take control first. And a beautiful move by Panther right off the bat. But Rodriguez is able to catch that uh, leg, that kick, and put Panther down on the ground. Rodriguez is going to try to take some control, but Panther now taking the control. And a nice scoop slam by Panther. He's picking up Rodriguez once again and throwing him right into the ropes. Messing up on the move. Will Rodriguez take some control? No. Panther with quick movement, quick strikes right onto Rodriguez to stop him real quick. And there's a gut buster. And Rodriguez was hanging on, was uh, over the ropes as well when that happened. My goodness. Panther showing no mercy, showing a very aggressive side of him that we haven't seen in a good long while. There's a handstand elbow drop right onto Rodriguez. He's looking for another one just to keep it up. There's a slap on Rodriguez and he's back up. Rodriguez taking some control and throwing Panther down on the ground. And looking for a nice hold right onto the arm of Panther. Looking to hurt that arm. Now Rodriguez has to keep this momentum going. Because if he lets it slip or makes one fault move, Panther will be able to take control and go back to his aggressive ways here tonight. And there's a beautiful elbow by Panther. And Pan nope, Rodriguez still going to take some control. But Panther... Not happy about that. There's another scoop slam right onto Rodriguez. Panther not happy anymore with Rodriguez. Looking like he's ready to finish it real soon. Beautiful Northern Lights suplex. And Panther jumping outside the ring and calling for Rodriguez to get up. Now, beautiful missile drop kick. Rodriguez gets back up quickly just for uh, Panther to throw him back down. And here we go. Panther's throwing Rodriguez into the corner and looking to set him up in the tree of woe. What does Panther have planned here? Oh, here we go. We've seen this before. The tree of woe moon stomp right on to Rodriguez. That might do it right there ladies and gentlemen here's the pin on Rodriguez one two three Panther pulls off the victory here tonight against Rodriguez giving Rodriguez his sixth loss and Panther his seventh win very good match put on by both competitors uh, Rodriguez had a good chance to keep the momentum built up but once he let it slip and Panther was able to get out of it Panther went full mayhem on him and finished the match the way it ended but like I said that was a good match performed by both competitors and let's go ahead and move on to our fourth match of the evening and here we are with our fifth fourth match Mitchell Odin is already in the ring and he's ready to go here tonight oh and Bronco sneaking up on Mitchell Odin and attacking him from behind we've seen this last week Sangre Blanco just still do, still keeping up this dirty strike right onto Odin. My goodness. And if you haven't, and this is your first time watching, Blanco and Odin have been going at it for a few weeks now. And Blanco's just been attacking Odin every single chance he gets. Odin hasn't really done much against Blanco. Uh, Blanco's just been doing all the hits and getting a lot of, uh, strength to keep performing everything he has been doing. Uh, they'll let you know on how Sangre Blanco's doing. He is 6-2 and two right now with wins and loss. Hasn't really lost that much, but also at the same time, well, he has actually won a good bit, so I can't really say much. And Mitchell Odin is 2-7 and seven right now. Now, Mitchell Odin hasn't been doing good whatsoever. And he's hoping that maybe he can pick up a win against Blanco here tonight and stop Blanco. Here we go. Odin's now taking some control in this match. A beautiful moonsault from the middle rope. I'm looking for a standing moonsault now.
looks like Odin able to pull off a nice little victory here against uh, Sangre Blanco. I know it wasn't much of a match, but hey, I'm glad he was able to do something. But let's get moving on to our main event. And here we are with our main event match, making his way to the ring. The self-proclaimed genius, Mark Bailey. And Mark Bailey's been in a rivalry with Flying S X for almost almost three months now. And their rivalry is finally coming to an end. They have decided to finish it on World War Smash once and for all in a last man standing match. So this should be very interesting to see how both competitors do. And to let you know on how Mark Bailey's doing, he is six and five right now with wins and loss. So not doing too good, but not doing too bad at the same time. Doing very good uh, overall. That didn't make any sense, but Bailey's here and he's ready to go in this match. Ready to fight Flying X and beat Flying X once and for all. And here we go, his opponent. Making his way to the ring, Flying X. And Flying X has been doing an extreme good, extremely good job as well. He's actually in the running for a chance at the Showdown Championship uh, belt. And late knowing how Flying X is doing, he is 13 and 4 with wins and loss, doing an amazing job and ready to end everything with Bailey. That way he can focus on title ship opportunities. But here we go, Mark Bailey versus Flying X. In three, two, one. And both men, without hesitation, go after each other. Each other. X with a nice Frankensteiner right onto Bailey. But Bailey with a nice counter now right onto X, throwing him down to the ground. And Bailey's going to try to take some control, and there is a faceplant suplex. Bailey looking for his own Frankensteiner right onto ba right onto X now. There's a double stomp right onto the face of X. My goodness. Bailey's got X back up, throwing him right into the ropes, looking for that Irish whip. Beautiful move from the Irish whip rebound. Bailey getting X on his knees now. There's a headbutt right onto X. big punch right there but X able to get out of that hold and here we go he's looking for a loop around uh, Hurricane Rana next doing some good job taking control now messing with the arm of Bailey looking to do some damage there and now going to the middle rope and calling for Bailey to get up Beautiful move by Bailey. A moonsault super DDT. And there's a stomp on the arm. And he has Bailey back up now and throwing Bailey into the ropes. But Bailey with a nice counter. And a nice kick right to the chest. And looking for a submission hole. Oh, nope. Just looking for some punches right on to X. I'm looking to throw X right onto the top rope. My goodness. Bailey was trying to do something, but because of X being on his knees, wasn't able to, and slams X back down to the mat. Doing a little bit of gloating right here. Like I said earlier, Bailey and X have been at at each other's throats for a good long while now. Looking to do so much damage to each other, pretty much in each other's careers here at Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. But both men are worthy of chances at the title of their choosing. But only one can get it. And here we go with a nice sliced bread cutter. Going in for the pin now on X. One, 
two, not good enough, only a two count, and Bailey is a little shocked. And a beautiful suplex, knocking X down, and here we go, Bailey going up top. We've seen this before. Red Arrow. Right into the pin now. Here's the pin. One, two, three. Mark Bailey picks up the pin against Flying X here tonight. X gaining his fifth loss while Bailey gains his seventh win. As you can see, Bailey's happy for his win here tonight. And since the ref's out of the ring, we already know Bailey was going to go right for an attack on X still. My goodness. Showing no mercy afterwards. Well, that'll be the end of that. Let's go look at the uh, news and rivalries. So here we are with our news. A brawl between rivals. Blanco attacked Odin from behind before the match could start. Ignoring the referee's orders to stop and having the match called off. Fighting continued between the two rivals. And then a disrespectful beatdown. Bailey continued to attack X after the match, intent on hurting and disrespecting him. Then, of course, we got our rivalries, and we got a new rivalry down here. If you would like to see it, please let me know. If you'd like to see any of these, let me know down in the comments below, because y'all's opinions matter. Y'all get to help write the story for Wrestling Showdown Entertainment. And also, if there's a rivalry you don't like up here, well, we can get rid of that. And it'll be done with forever. But it's up to y'all. Alright. So. That will end Friday Night Frenzy. Our next show will be on Sunday. And it is our third pay-per-view event. World War Smash. So if you enjoyed Friday Night Frenzy. Please leave a like. Comment down below. What was your favorite match from tonight's showing of Friday Night Frenzy? I'm probably going to have to go with. The Panther going up against Javier Rodriguez. But it's not my choice. It's y'all's choice. And subscribe for future videos. And be a part of the G-Dub Nation. And I will see you. At World War Smash. Peace. Out.